To get bikini fit, eat healthy pizza. This is a portobello pizza recipe. I have more bikini fit ground turkey recipes on my blog at bikinifit.com. The link is below. Hi, I'm Kathleen Heffernan, author of the Bikini Model Cookbook, personal trainer, diet coach, and pilot. Today's recipe is a portobello basil turkey pizza, and it's super exciting because you get to eat pizza. To make the pizza, you need one pound of lean ground turkey, a half a cup of red onions, one whole red pepper, but I was kind of a slacker and I only had orange peppers, so this is one orange pepper, but you can mix and match two garlic cloves. And the recipe calls for one tomato, but I just had a bunch of cherry tomatoes in the fridge, so I thought I'd use those instead. There's 50 grams of Parmesan cheese and I measured it out using my weight scale to make sure we don't use too much of the good stuff. The recipe each serving only has about five grams of fat which is perfect so the recipe is really low fat as well but full of all that pizza flavor. We also have some mushroom caps. Sometimes it's hard to get all eight of them to be the same size so we've got this like massive one right here but what you want to do with the mushrooms is you want to cut out the inside so that the mushroom cap isn't taking over the whole space because we're gonna have a lot of turkey and vegetable toppings to add to each one of these portobello mushroom caps and you want to make sure that there's room for that meat and goodness so to get the stem out you just get a knife and you want to cut around careful not to cut yourself just poke it out put it to the side and you can add it to the stir fry all right so to start you want to preheat your oven to 425 and then get all your ingredients ready to go I need a quarter cup of the fresh basil so I'm gonna grab some from my herb garden I like using fresh basil. You can also use a, a tablespoon or two of the dried stuff, but the fresh basil really makes this recipe so much more yummy. So to make the pizzas, the first thing you have to do is turn the pan over medium high heat and we're gonna cook the ground turkey. And I like to cook the, tur the turkey and the garlic onions together just to soften them up. All right, so let that cook for a little bit. And while that's doing its thing, I can show you how I grate the cheese. So we needed 50 grams of the cheese. So I just pull this out and I measure it out. Turn your weight scale on and just cut out chunks of cheese and then put them on the weight scale and make sure you got the right serving size. So it says I have 50 grams exactly. So you just need a little bit of cheese. The Parmesan has a lot of flavor, so you don't really need that much. So you just need to give it a good grate. You can use the big grater, but I could only find my little one today. But it makes the cheese um, finer, so it spreads easier if you use a small grater. It's actually making quite a lot of cheese. So 50 grams might sound small and just look small when you look at these tiny little chunks for eight full portobello mushroom pizzas, but you actually have almost a half a cup here. So using the cheese is completely optional. You don't have to use the cheese, and then you can make it dairy-free and gluten-free without the, uh, the whole wheat pizza crust. So now we're gonna put the bell peppers and the basil and a little bit of these mushroom caps that I have here. And that's optional. I just don't like to waste anything. And I'm actually going to chop the tomatoes, but if you use a full tomato, just chop your tomato. So I use the tomatoes to mimic the tomato sauce. So you want to get them kind of soft, so they mimic that saucy kind of taste. All right, and now we're going to add the fresh basil and some sea salt and pepper to taste. You don't need a lot of salt because the Parmesan cheese is already pretty salty, but a little bit is okay. And the pepper. And then we just top each of the pizzas evenly with the ground turkey. Now there might be a little bit of meat next left over. Your goal is to get the biggest mushrooms you can find. And then you're gonna evenly top with cheese. So it's ready to go into the oven now and we're gonna bake for 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is lightly browned. Now it's really time that I invest in some really good <laughs> oven mitts, but this is the final product. There's eight mini portobello mushroom pizzas here, but each serving is two pizzas. So I have this huge mushroom cap here 
and it was a little bit out of proportion with the other other ones I could find at the grocery store. So if you want, you can just like trim off a piece and kind of even it out. It's totally up to you. But uh, for two, it ends up being about 35 grams of protein and around 11 grams of carbs and about five grams of fat. So it's really quite a healthy recipe. And I like to top with fresh ground pepper and I use dried chilies on top of my pizza because I like everything spicy, but it's up to you. I'm Kathleen Heffernan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great recipes.